Hello, you Demi. I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 20. Today, we are going to learn how can you create your CAPTCHA, captcha using CAPTCHA helper. In the last lecture, you learned how can you use the cookie and how can you create your cookie and how can you fetch your cookie. So, what I need, uh, I just need to cut this and I'm going to create another method so you can easily get this code after some lectures whenever you want to get this so that's why i am keeping all of my code inside a helper so in the, i'm saying cookie helper okay so now what you need before calling any functions of a particular helper you have to load that helpers in your specific method or just go to if you want to load your specific helper globally go to your application config autoload.php and load your helper or libraries so first of all copy this bad boy in this time i'm saying this is the captcha captcha helper go to your uh, okay this 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 is captcha helper go to your browser refresh the page make sure we we have a helpers controller so that's why we are calling the helper controller uh, once you loaded your captcha then you have to create an associative array for your captcha make sure some some parameters are required for suppose word how many words you want to show inside uh, an image for suppose uh, I'm saying Shagzi Shagzi okay pass another I'm just copying control D in this time I'm saying image path where is the image you want to store I'm saying image URL where you want to get the image <laughs> if you have a font just add font path first of all if you have a TDF font so you can use this okay I don't have any font so that's why I'm skipping this I'm saying image width And now I'm saying image height. You can uh, also pass the expiration time. And uh, another key is for suppose word length. How many word you want to show. And now, what is the font size of your image? Specify your font size. Okay, so now, first of all, this is the word you want to show inside a specific image. And now, what is your image URL? For suppose, in this time, I'm saying app path. That means I'm saying go to app path. So, I'm saying find application folder. Then, go to previous directory and find assets directory okay this is my image path where uh, i'm going to store my image okay so now i'm saying this is my image url i'm saying base url now i'm saying assets okay so what is your image width in this time i'm saying 170 
so you don't need to uh, write uh, that um, height or something like this okay you can also specify like 30 or 50 height and expirations for suppose i'm saying that Eight double zero word length how many length you how many words you want to show inside your image I'm saying nine so what is your font size for suppose your font size is uh, 18 or 19 okay remove this so the color of your image for suppose I'm saying color my image you have to specify sorry I'm giving an array here I'm saying background uh, for suppose I don't know what is the value of these for suppose I'm saying 300 okay now I'm saying what is the border color make sure this is the key that's why you have to enclose in single parenthesis I'm saying array uh, also I'm saying 255, 255, 255. Okay. So, what about your text? Uh, I'm saying in this time. So, text is for suppose 010. Zero, zero. Okay. So now what you need you need to call the function I'm saying create capture so you have to pass your array which you have just created before passing I'm going to store this array inside of variables my array for suppose and now I have to pass this inside a function okay so it will return you some data so i am going to store this for suppose my result and i'm going to var dump var dump this data so i have this directory i'm going to delete all of my images here okay so what you need you need to add semicolon go to your page you refresh the page you can see you have just created a captcha and uh, you can see you have your shakesy word okay you have just created this image okay I'm going to delete this image and now I'm going to pass some random string so before using a uh, random string i have to load the string helper which we have just learned okay now i'm saying random string so this is random string it takes two parameters first of all uh, your algorithm then your length i'm saying oh my length is nine and now i'm saying just add alpha numeric i think or alpha go to your page refresh the page you can see now you are just adding the random string which is alpha numeric you can see htx and i'm saying in this time i'm saying the length is four it's totally depend upon you now you can see we have four words w h f j and you can see we have four words w h f j this is the image and this is the file name 1555.jpg so you can see 1555.jpg image so in this way you can create your uh, captcha and you can use your captcha helper so we have uh, already covered many helpers so go to your coordinator guide 
helpers we have covered array captcha cookie helper today it is not required directory is not required we have covered download email helper is not required and uh, we have covered also form helper we have covered html helper and i think i have covered inflector helper we have covered numeric helper security helper string text helper typography i think we have covered uh, and of course you or l helper so we have almost covered uh, all the necessary or required helper for this series in the next lecture we are going to cover the database references so you can easily understand how can you use the uh, orm object relational mapping or in simple words the query builder using coding narrator so thank you for watching